Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And so you're on vacation and you have no access to the gym, well that is no problem. I know that a lot of you guys really kicked it up a notch and you got yourselves into phenomenal shape for your vacation. And now while you're there, you don't want to drop the ball. Getting your cardio in there while you're on vacation is usually not a big issue. And I implore you to get out there and go for a jog, swim, go hiking or do some sightseeing. Remember that you're on vacation and there's probably a ton of great things for you to do and places to explore. What can become problematic while you're on vacation is the resistance portion to your training regimen. And that is what we're gonna take a look at in this video. Just keep in mind that it's not gonna be realistic for you to pack on a huge amount of muscle while you're on vacation. Your goal here should be to maintain and preserve what you already have. Now what if there's no gym? You'll see a million videos on the internet that will show you what to do if you had resistance bands, chairs, some light weights or whatnot. But what if you don't have any of those things? Yet what does everyone have with them if they're on vacation? The answer to that, my friends, is luggage. And I'm about to show you a great workout that you can put together using nothing but your suitcase. And the great thing about this idea is that you can alter the intensity by increasing and decreasing the weight of your luggage. If you wanted to decrease the weight, you could simply remove some items. And if you wanted to increase the weight, you can simply add some more. Here are a few tips that I recommend while you're on vacation. First, get it done early. For starters, it gets it over with and you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Instead of running on a treadmill or using an elliptical trainer, try and get outside and get some fresh air. And if you do decide to train outdoors, just remember to keep hydrated. All right, so here we go. Let's kick off this workout with some body weight squats. Now you don't need any weights for this one. Your body weight will be good enough. I like to keep my hands up, I keep my eyes up, and I do as many as I possibly can until failure. That means I'm gonna do as many as I can until I can't do any more. Next, I'm gonna continue working on my legs with some body weight lunges. Remember that you wanna work both legs evenly. You can alternate from leg to leg or do each leg individually. I like to do one leg for as many reps as I can until failure and then switch over to the other leg. Keep your back straight and your head up and be cautious not to have that knee come smashing down into the ground. I'm gonna finish off my legs by doing some body weight calf raises. Keep your balance and go up and down on your tippy toes. It's as simple as that and then do as many as you can until you feel that burn. Next, I like to attack my core, so let's do some abdominal work. I'll start out with a plank, and I'll hold it for as long as I can. Then I'll rest about 15 seconds, and I'll finish off with as many crunches as I can. Now for these crunches, I like to keep my hands placed on my thighs. Then without removing my hands, I slide my fingertips up to my knees, and then come right back down. While I'm still down on the ground, I'm gonna roll over and train my chest. And my exercise of choice will be everybody's favorite, the push-up. And once again, like all the other exercises in this routine, I'm going to do my push-ups till failure. That means until I can't do any more. I just want you to make a quick note of my elbow position. And notice that my elbows are away from my body. That is putting more of an emphasis on my chest. As opposed to this, where my elbows are pinned up right against my body, putting more of an emphasis on my triceps, which we're about to get to right now. After resting for about 30 seconds, we're gonna target those triceps with some tricep push-ups. Now remember the trick to isolating those triceps is to keep those elbows pinned in close towards your body. Do as many as you can until failure. After that, I get to my feet and I grab my suitcase for some tricep kickbacks. I keep my elbow in close and I use my triceps to kick back the suitcase. Do as many as you can until failure and then switch to the other arm. Now that we pumped up your triceps, let's hit those biceps. I add a little more weight to the suitcase, and then I just hold the suitcase in place with an isometric contraction for my biceps. Try and hold it for as long as you can, anything over 45 seconds and you're doing really well. After resting for about 30 seconds, I do some alternate bicep curls using the suitcase in place of a dumbbell. Do as many as you can with one arm and then switch to the other one. Next up, I'm going to attack my back using the suitcase to do some bent over rows. Grip the suitcase with two hands and use the muscles of your back to pull it in close towards your chest. Try as best you can to keep your back flat and do as many as you can until failure. Now I'm gonna finish off this total body workout by training my shoulders. And I'm gonna start off by using the suitcase to do an overhead shoulder press. 
You notice I keep my knees slightly bent to take any pressure off my back, and I angle the suitcase forward so that I don't hit myself in the face. Do as many as you can until failure, and then hold the last one halfway in an isometric contraction for as long as you can. I rest for about 30 seconds, then I use the suitcase to do some front raises. Then I finish off this workout by using the suitcase to do some side raises, one arm at a time. Do each arm until failure. So there you have it. Maintain your shape while on vacation by doing this routine every other day. And it doesn't matter where you are because you don't need any equipment whatsoever to do this routine. Try using your imagination to come up with some different exercises. Most of all, please don't forget to have fun. And remember that you are on vacation. And don't worry, those extra grueling workouts will still be waiting for you when you get back. But thanks to this little routine, you'll stay in shape enough to tackle them. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And if you enjoyed this video, please click below to like or subscribe. Or come check us out at www.fitnesseswithin.com.